Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a pretty massive bins haul. And this will be an interesting one. I had very limited time to get in, get out. I really had two hours to shop, go through all my things, you know, comp what I could, check out and go. So this was a very hastily done haul. I'm really interested to see. I've really only briefly gone through and kind of checked things into inventory. I didn't do any pricing research, so we're just gonna be going by gut on this haul. So, but yeah, it's been just kind of a crazy week. I had a lot of stuff going on. We've had crazy rains here in California. Uh, I hope that if any of you are like up in the hills or in one of the effective areas, I, I hope that you are safe and your home is safe and your family is safe and all the people you love are safe and hopefully by the time this video airs we will have had a few good days of sunshine <laughs> and you know to reset our hearts souls and minds but before we get started if you are new here uh first and foremost welcome i am julia uh, that's my name we talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet if any of those things are of interest to you, hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. We're building this incredible community of beautiful, wonderful people. And, um, you know, we have a lot of fun. So join us. But guys, we've got a lot to get through. I think that there are 46 pieces that made it through the final vet, final checking in. There were a couple pieces that I found damaged that I didn't see in the bins. So go and grab yourself a snack, get yourself a drink, sit back, relax, and let's get in to the goods. Okay, so first up here, and again, we are pulling straight straight from the bags. So the first thing we found here is this really pretty silk Eileen Fisher sweater in that light peach color, just a little dream, fantastic condition. It's a size extra small, but you know, Eileen Fisher goes, you know, doesn't really matter what size it is. This extra smalls will sit a little bit longer, but they'll still sell and they'll still sell for a great amount. This was again, probably a $300 sweater when it was first sold. So always, always great to get this out of the bins and back into circulation because they are just beautiful. Next up, now this is one of my favorite brands to find in the bins. and I feel like I've been finding it less and less. Let me know if you find this more where you are than I do. Um, this is Sundance. And they just have a real cult following. They're kind of known for doing ever so slightly like boho meets Western style. And this really fits that bill. This is a nice cotton, it's size medium. It's a nice cotton kind of brown paisley top with this vivid blue embroidery and beading on it. Let me get you up close on that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I just thought this was so different and it feels very Sundance catalog. I'll probably get somewhere between 35 and 45 on this. Sundance stuff sells really well and it sells for a great price because it's very expensive. This was probably like $150 when it was sold new. So let me know how you're doing with it. I'm so interested to see if, if everybody else has been seeing less and less of this in their sourcing. Uh, very interested, but I'm always excited to find a piece because they're always very special. Oh yeah, now next one, this is one that I found and I grabbed it because it felt really nice. I didn't know the brand at all and it's called Maven West. Have any of you ever heard of this? Let me know in the comments below. But this just, you know, the construction of it felt really nice. The quality of the fabric felt really nice. It's that kind of like heavyweight, like viscose or tensile fabric. It has that nice drape to it with a ribbed collar and a ribbed, um, you know, hem down here. This is a size extra small, another extra small, but again, this is just a beautiful little closet staple, like bracelet length sleeves that are a little bit wide. I just thought this was so nice. Now come to find out this brand is very expensive. This was probably somewhere around 150 to $200 new. Um, interested to see what it does on the resale market. I'm not quite sure. I'll bank on probably somewhere around $30 for this. I'll report back as I can on this brand. And if any of you have ever found it or sold it quick, let me know in the comments below. Next up, I found this. I mean, I felt this fabric and I knew immediately it was free people. <laughs> That's, uh, you can just tell they're gauze. This is um, an extra small shirt, which again, kind of very oversized, as you can tell. So it's got these kind of ruffles down the sleeves that go all the way down to the hem. It's like, a, it kind of sits like that looks really, really pretty on. I forget the name of this. I did find it. 
but it's a really pretty color it's in fantastic condition something like this will go somewhere between 25 and 35 on the resale market very very cute and easily i think could probably fit up to like a size large oh yeah this one was kind of cool uh so this one i grabbed for the style i believe this is a boutique brand it's called cotton candy is the brand there uh, never heard of it before but the quality was really nice and I love the style of this. You know, Western shirts just kind of move really well for me. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I know some people, they don't move quite as well, but look at that, like, navy blue and red pops. The quality is really nice. The drape is really nice. Probably somewhere $20, $25 on this, but this was definitely a style I was not leaving behind. I really, really, really love Western style clothing, and it always moves very, very fast for me. Next up, now this is something that I don't, grab all that often and it's mostly because I don't really find good quality pieces like this. This is just a scarf. This is beautiful light blue with kind of purple thread detail there but it's from Eileen Fisher. I've never seen an Eileen Fisher scarf in my life. I'm not quite sure what they go for. I'm assuming probably somewhere between 15 and 25. Uh, you know Eileen Fisher pieces are very expensive so I'm interested to see you know, when I sit down and do a little bit more pricing research on this, I'm interested to see what something like this goes for retail. I know what their sweaters go for. I know what their shirts go for. Interested to see what kind of like an accessory goes for. But this is beautiful and like brand new condition. It doesn't look like there's any wear on it whatsoever. You know, even on the, even on the tag. Like I feel like that's really where you can tell when things have been kind of worn and worked. And, and probably, if I have to guess, if somebody wore this, they would have cut off at least this big white tag. So uh, TBD on this, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Next up, now this was a cute one. This is a little Free People corduroy skirt. I just thought this was so adorable. It's got kind of little, um, I think they're called godets, little like triangular inserts here to make this a bit of a flare. It's kind of that micro whale corduroy, this little floral print. It's a size 10, which is a great size to find. Probably 20 to 25 on this. I know that there's a bunch out there that I saw when I quickly kind of searched this in store, but most of the ones that I see are black. So interested to see how this moves, but it was just very cute and in great condition. You know, a couple little specks here and there that I think I'll be able to get out when I do, uh, when I do launder it. So very, very cute. Next up, now this is another one that I grabbed because I thought it felt really nice and I had never heard of the brand before. This very cute, like, hammered satin floral crop. Can you see the texture on that fabric at all? I don't know if you're seeing that at all. But it's got these, like, kind of interesting puff sleeves, and I love when I see this. I feel like this is kind of a sign of good construction. Instead of having shoulder pads, it's got, like, a little bubble ruffle underneath the shoulder to give it a little bit of body without giving it that kind of hard you know shoulder pad line it's got smocking on the back for a perfect fit the brand is called vero moda again i had never heard of it before again it seems like it's a pretty expensive brand size medium so probably i don't know 25 to 35 on this i just thought this was so cute and so springy next up here cute little joie piece 100 percent silk it is extra small, um, but it is a cute little like sleeveless polka dot shell in a cream color. This is just such a classic little top. You know, it's easy enough to wear on its own for brunch or whatever, but also if you work in like a business professional setting, this is an easy thing to put on under a blazer and call it a day. Polka dots for me always move. They're just kind of one of those evergreen patterns. Like if you're a polka dot girl, chances are you're like, always a polka dot girl in the same way that I am a stripes girl I've been a stripes girl since I was probably 15 years old my wedding dress was striped I'll put it that way uh, <laughs> you know some people are the same way with polka dots so I thought this was a cute little find somewhere 20 25 dollars on this very very cute in fantastic condition this really doesn't look like it's ever been worn next up oh yes that's right I forgot I found this this is a really pretty little midi skirt 
and it's from this brand called Whistles, and this is a UK-based brand. I've found one or two dresses from them before, and they've all been like beautiful and silk and really well made. This is a high-end brand from the UK. Look that it's got like a little kick ruffle there at the end. Can you see that? It's a double layer. And this fabric is so nice. It feels like to the touch, it feels like silk satin. In fact, on the inside, it's kind of slippery like silk satin, but what is it? But it's a viscose and it just has such a nice weight to it, a nice drape to it, that like if you had had this in say like a duchess satin, um, think Pippa Middleton's bridesmaid's dress in the royal wedding. This would show every lump, bump, curve, you know, this is a bias cut piece, but this, because it's got that weight to it, it's a little bit thicker, it's got kind of a good drape to it, it's gonna smooth out those, it's gonna smooth out anything like that. So definitely something to be on the lookout for if you are shopping for a skirt or a dress or anything like this. If you see 100% viscose, pay attention, because it has kind of the look of a duchess satin without the, um, unforgiving qualities of a duchess satin. Probably, I, I don't know, 25 to 35 bucks on this. Whistles is very expensive, but I've never had or sold a skirt, so I'm just making a best guess at that. Next up here, as we slide into spring break season, again, guys, start getting up your spring and summer pieces because people are starting to plan their vacations. And if they're anything like me, they start packing a month in advance because like, Mentally, you're already there. But this is a cute little like sundress with a sherbet and white stripe. This is Linen Blend. This is from Cloth and Stone, which is an anthropology brand. And it's size medium in fantastic condition. It's just so easy, breezy, super summery, about midi length. This will probably go somewhere in the $30 range. Um, but I love finding Cloth and Stone. I've, they don't sell for nearly as much as they used to. Like two or three years ago, this would have gone for 50, 60 bucks because this would have sold for like 150 to 170 bucks. But I find that their pieces are really high quality and I love their fabrics and I love their styles. Their styles are very timeless and beachy, just casual cool. So Cloth and Stone, love it. And they do tend to move pretty quickly for me. Oh, this was such an interesting find. This is... So this is one of two pieces that I found from this designer. And I think that this is a local designer to us because this I'm pretty sure is a hand written tag there. And I grabbed it, like initially I felt the sleeve and I'm like, that feels like a really nice sweatshirt, right? Like, it f And it was this cute little cropped sweatshirt, but on the back, hello, it had these like sequin angel wings, <laughs> like, I'm gonna just grab this. Uh, when I got it to my cart, it had a price tag and it says the Rainbow Icarus sweatshirt, $188. So I don't know if this is just somebody bought it and never wore it or if it was a promo piece. I couldn't find anything on this brand at all. I think this is something that'll probably sell on style alone. And if it doesn't move, I have a friend who would absolutely love this piece. So I'll be happy to give it to her. Perks of, perks of the job. I have no idea what this will go for. You know, this isn't a brand that's really searchable. Like I said, I couldn't even really find anything online, like on the greater internet, not just Poshmark um, or eBay. So interested to see how this does. I'll try to keep you updated on this. If I do end up selling this and I don't give it to my friend, I'll be sure to include it in either a ship with me video here on YouTube or one of my short form little ship with me is that I do on, on days when I don't have enough to like make a full video interesting enough for you. I'll do these little short form ship with me's. If that is something that you're interested in, they're only like a minute long. I post them on my TikTok. I post them on my Instagram. I will put my handles right here. Uh, be sure to follow along. I would love to see you over there. Next up, now this was an interesting find and certainly not something I expected to find in Southern California. It is something I found a lot back when I lived in Utah. Um, and this is an Ariat. I don't know if I, I think I'm saying it right. Ariat. And that is the logo. It's three little horseshoes kind of interlocked. Definitely something to keep your eye out for. This is a big Western brand. They make stuff for like horseback riding and ranchers and it's all about, you know, like their stuff is made to be like literally beaten. You know, if you know anybody that 
works on a ranch or has a farm or works with horses, like they are absolute murder on their clothing. So they need stuff that is built to last. Ariat is one of the big brands in that world. This is one of their, I think it's called like Ariat Tech. Ariat Tech, yeah, that's like a little worn out there. Uh, but these go for like, I don't know, 60 or 70 bucks new. This is just kind of like a base layer thermal that you would wear under a shirt that you would wear under a vest and a jacket. You know, it's it's otherwise, aside from that little like screen printing rubbing off, it feels fantastic condition. Um, so probably somewhere 20 to $30 on this. Um, I just wanted to make sure to call that out and make sure that you know to keep your eyes out for that brand. If you have any boots or if you find boots with that logo, they're also a big maker of cowboy boots, grab them. They are in demand. People search them out by name. Next up, now this was a cool one. I haven't found many Chico's pieces and Chico sells pretty well for me. This is just a little like midi skirt from Chico's. It's a size three Chico's, which I think is a size... 2XL? Ah, I should know this by now. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen down below here. But it's just a simple little pull on. It's um, ever so slightly uneven hem, like it's a little bit of a drop tail in the back. Uh, but this is in perfect condition and it's that nice kind of like heavy tensile blend so it drapes really lovely. Somewhere probably $25 to $35 on this. It's a good find. It's a good closet staple from Chico's, which always moves very well for me. Next up, now I couldn't resist picking this one up. I just picked up another one a couple weeks back. I'll post the link to the video down below. And this is a vintage structure sweater. Structure, if you are uninitiated or if you were not around when this was the thing. <laughs> getting old. Structure is what express men used to be and it was where all the cute boys in high school used to shop. And I gotta say like their sweaters are in really great condition. 55% Raimi, 45% cotton. It needs a good bath but it's this fun like little argyle pattern. I like the colors. It's a size XL. I think this will go pretty quick. The last one I had I think I listed it for 36 and it sold for like 32 within a week. So um, I'll report back on this one because this might just be something to keep your eyes out. I do love finding a vintage men's sweater because they do go well. And for one reason or another, I tend to sell them to women. So next up here, we know I love a kimono and we know I especially love a burnout velvet kimono. Hello. This one is completely unbranded. There's no tag on it whatsoever. It does have a fringe bottom, which we love. You see that? This will probably go within a day or two. I have never had a velvet kimono not sell, like really within a couple days, if not same day. Black and pink, so it's a nice like easy color, but guys, keep your eyes out for these. It doesn't matter if they're branded or not. Obviously, if you find yourself like a For Love and Liberty or a Johnny Was, like jump on it, jump on it. <laughs> but something like this, I will probably get somewhere between 20 and $30. And I, I usually get that within a couple days. These are such reliable sellers. Kimonos in general are reliable sellers for me. They're always really good for bundles, but the velvet ones, people just love them. So grab them if they're in great condition, get them. Don't go paying $15 for it, but if you're getting it for a couple bucks at the, at the bins or even $4 at the regular thrift store or $5, grab it. It's, it's a quick turnaround, it's a quick flip and people love them. Last piece in the first bag here. And this is another brand I love to find. This is All Saints. There you go. I think this is one of the older tags. Again, this is a really like nice quality fleece. And it's this like oversized, it's got kind of like a drop tail there. This is a hoodie, it's heavy. Like this is actually a heavy hoodie. Um, these sleeves are very interesting to me. They're like narrow. They're almost like a tight t-shirt down to the sleeves. Um, this is a great find. You know, All Saints, this was probably close to $200 when it was new. Um, you know, probably somewhere in the $30 to $40 range uh, now. It is in great shape um, and it's a size small so it's obviously very oversized for a size small but super exciting find i love finding all saints it is one of those brands that's like very in demand right now all right now we're on to bag two so next up 
first item out of the second bag here is this cute top and this is from scotch and soda this is a super expensive brand i'm not quite sure this at the store would probably be 100 to 125 dollars very expensive it's a size i think is a medium it's sheer i like the colors on it got a little stripe a little polka dot it is sheer the the sleeves like this is ribbed feels really high quality somewhere probably 20 to 30 dollars on this uh, but definitely a brand to keep your eyes out for if this is something that you found and have had good success with let me know i'm interested to see because scotch and soda is not something i hear talked about all that often uh, but i know the people that love it absolutely love it next up now this is one that i grabbed and i didn't comp um, at the store and i don't think it's a super expensive piece but i thought it was a really pretty piece it's this little black dress and I just thought like very simple, very classic, and the construction feels really nice. It's from a brand called Catherine Barclay Montreal. I'm not quite sure. This could just be a little boutique brand. If you know about it, let me know. Again, I haven't done much like brand research on things, um, but when I quickly Googled this, I couldn't really find much on it. So I'm gonna bank on like 20 bucks on this, but I just thought this, I mean, I got this because it's a perfect little black dress. It's a perfect little black dress. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, so it's forgiving. It's a classic silhouette, and it feels like it's made really well. Uh, let me know. Let me know if you know anything about Catherine Barclay. Like I said, I don't anticipate getting much more than 20 bucks for it, but I can't resist a perfect little black dress. And this it feels brand new. Next up here. Now, this is a Bolo brand, but you can take this however you want. This is Show Me Your Moo Moo. And I don't know if this is the older tag or if this is a tag that they use sometimes. I feel like I've seen newer pieces with that tag. I've also seen pieces, in, including like some pieces that I have with a more like block letter tag. But this I'm guessing was at one point maybe a bridesmaid's dress. I know that they were in that world. But I grabbed it because it's just such a pretty dress. It's a little champagne color. What size is this? Size large, love to find it. It's got a little ruffle hem. This could easily be something that somebody grabs, you know, for a vacation or for like a formal event or, you know, bridal shower or whatever. Um, this was probably 200 to $250 new. Probably I'll get somewhere around $40 for this on the resale. You know, it would be great if this does go to like a bridesmaid. Somebody said like, okay, get a show me your moo moo dress and whatever this color is and they don't have to go and spend 250 dollars that's the ideal situation but i think that this dress has enough going for it on its own to sell standalone not just as a bridesmaid's dress quality is really nice everything i've ever had from show me your, your moo moo feels really nice adjustable straps love to see that uh just really cute really really cute and in perfect condition i'm assuming worn once Next up, now this was one I grabbed, and I don't think this has a brand tag in it, but I grabbed it because it felt really well made, and I loved the design of it. This is a little, um, like, maxi skirt with two slits in the front. I think I'm pretty sure, yeah, two slits in the front, and it's pretty, like, I do not even know how to classify this, this kind of, like, graphic pattern, I guess. I love the back. It's got kind of a ruffle front, which I just find so flattering and forgiving. This is the kind of thing you can wear comfortably like all night long. It gives you, it, you know, it's not, it's just not skin tight. And you can see where the tag was. Um, I couldn't find any secondary tag in here with like fabric content. So I'm going to have to sell this unbranded. It'll probably still go for like 25 bucks because maxi dresses do go for me. And I think that this is really cute. So this one I grabbed primarily on style. So, you know, again, 25 bucks maybe. Super, super cute. Now this is another one that I grabbed. I grabbed it because I was almost positive that this was a Free People Intimately little nightgown because it feels just like it. And I don't think it is. Doesn't this kind of look like one of their little nightgowns? It's got a lace back. It's kind of a late, it's a looser fit. It's got that tiered bottom. It feels like the same fabric that their uh, little nightgowns are made of. I don't know, 10 or 15 bucks for this. Like I said, no branding. Is there a secondary tag? Yeah, I don't see a fabric content tag either. So 
Next up, ooh, this was another interesting one that I grabbed. This is another piece from Kabi. Again, I've had some things sell super quick and some things sit, so I just thought that this was a cute little top and it's in perfect condition. It's this little like surplice. You got leopard print, you got polka dots, you've got florals. This is a little kind of camisole. It's got a zip on the side. The size six, again, perfect condition, probably somewhere 20 to 25 bucks on this. You know, it is something that I will use that mob wife keyword on because you have the cheetah print here. As a reminder, that is trending very hard right now. So make sure that anything you have for sale with a little leopard print in it has that tag on it. Get those pieces moved. It's next up. Now this is a Bolo brand for sure. It's very expensive. I believe they sell it at Revolve. It is something that people seek out and that is ATM. Hopefully you can see that, there you go. And this is just a cute little like slub, I think this is linen blend. This is a really nice jersey, let's see. Nope, just 100% cotton. So it's a really nice cotton slub knit with a little ever so faint stripe to it. And it's got a cute little rope belt with these like heavy duty aglets on it. I was super excited to find this because you almost never find the belt, the matching belt in the bins. This will probably go somewhere in the 30 to $40 range. This was probably somewhere close to like $200 new. So definitely keep your eyes out for ATM. Next up, one of my favorite brands to find, this is James Purse. And this is like a little waffle knit sweater. Um, it's kind of like a gray, like a dark gray Heather with a, it, it's like a long john texture. Can you feel, can you see that? A little waffle knit texture. Uh, this is in great shape. It's a men's, oh, it's a size three. I'm not quite sure the men's sizing. I'm almost positive this is a men's shirt. It's definitely like a men's cut. I'm assuming that would be a size large. That would be the equivalent to a size large, just the same as the women's. James Purse, man, their fabric is always the best. Like that's just what he does. He doesn't do anything flashy. He just does really great textiles in really simple classic silhouettes. So it's the kind of thing that you can pick up. Doesn't matter how old it is, it's still gonna sell because people know James Purse and people know the quality of James Purse. People seek for it by name. Probably somewhere 30 to $40 on this. Guys, we are plugging right along here. So this is another thing I found and I didn't know the tag at all, but the, the quality feels really nice on this and the brand on it is Sullivan. Is anybody familiar with this brand? I'm assuming it's a boutique brand. I couldn't find anything when I searched. But look at this little dress. Obviously it needs a bath, needs some love from my steamer, but it's got these kind of like little draped shoulders. It's got this like double strap front that ties in the back. It's this pretty pink tie dye. It's just like the finishing on it is really nice. The fabric is really nice. Like it doesn't feel, you know, sometimes you get like boutique pieces and you can feel that they were like, very mass produced, corners were cut. Like this doesn't have that feel to it. So maybe it's just a high, higher end boutique brand, but I thought it was really, really cute. Another one that I think will sell just on looks alone. Uh, probably, you know, unless I can find something that tells me that this is like as expensive as like I initially thought it was, probably somewhere 25 to 35 bucks on this. It's super cute. So I'll try to report back on this. And of course, if you know anything about Sullivan, let a girl know in the comments. Next up, a little bread and butter free people piece. I think this is newer. I feel like I've seen this recently in stores. And it's this little linen blend shirt. It's got kind of like a Henley neckline. I love the way that like the trim is twisted there. Like free people is just all about the details and they do it so nice. But it's a little like mustard brown color, size medium. It's in, this is in like brand new condition. I would be surprised if this is worn at all. It's got a little bit of a trapeze silhouette to it. Uh, really cute. Probably somewhere 20 to $25 on this. So very cute find. Next up, now this was an exciting find. Um, this is a dress from Halston Heritage. Exciting to find in the bins. Now to put Halston's stuff in order. You have H by Halston, which is a true diffusion brand. I think you can buy that at Macy's or Kohl's somewhere in that range. Then you have Halston, which is like 
the couture stuff where each dress is, you know, $4,000, $5,000. In between the two, you have Halston Heritage. And Halston Heritage is something that you would find at, like, Saks Fifth Avenue off the rack. Um, so the dresses are largely hovering around that $1,000 mark. Some, this would probably be six or seven hundred dollars because it's very simple, up to like a more beaded thing that would be closer to fifteen hundred. And then if you were to have that same dress in like the couture line, that would be somewhere in like the ten thousand dollar range. So this is an exciting find. It is a size zero, it is a formal dress. I know that they take a little bit longer to sell, but this will move based on the name alone. Look at this beautiful, so it's very simple. It's got that kind of draped top. The internal construction is absolutely stunning. Like these are high quality bones um, and it's in perfect condition. So it's this cute little like midi length dress in this like whisper of pink color. I love the back. Look at the shaping around the bum. Look at that like seaming. Isn't that beautiful? It's slightly high-low. Let me get you, let me see if I can get you up. See how that kind of lays? Isn't that beautiful? I just thought this was such a gorgeous find. I'll probably get somewhere around $100 for this when it does sell. I do think this will take a little bit of time to sell, but I don't care. I just think this is so lovely, and I'm so excited to like get this back into use. Just, just a beautiful find. Next up, this is a little bread and butter. This is a cute little striped top from By Anthropology. This is one of their in-house lines. That's what the tag looks like. I've had a couple pieces from By Anthropology and they sell real fast for me. Faster than anything else from Anthropology. I think this is a somewhat newer line for them, but I just thought this was cute little black and white stripes. It's got kind of exposed hems or exposed seams. Just a cute little detail and it's this like little super stretchy kind of crinkle fabric. I don't know if you can get that texture on there. Super cute. You know, somewhere 20 to 30 bucks on this, probably closer to 20. It's it's not a super significant piece, but very cute. Next up, this is another one that I went and I just kind of like trusted my gut on. The tag looked really familiar, uh, but it wasn't like ringing a bell. And that is Blue Life. Anybody's familiar with it, let me know. Because when I did a quick search for it, um, God, this is one of those things that I can barely show you on camera because it doesn't make sense when it's not like on a body. This is one of those like wide smocking pieces that start like right at the natural waist and it kind of cinches down like to the hips. So this blouse is out, this is fitted to the hips and then it's like a midi length with a little slit. Uh, really cute, really well made. The the smocking is all in perfect condition. I find that that's like when I when I'm dealing with a smocked piece, that's really where you can tell like the cheaper made garments from the nicer ones because the smocking will pop and you'll have like a little I call it a popcorn that kind of sticks out. But this was so so nice. It is this is a very expensive brand. Again, when I came back and I kind of did a quick search for it, it's an extra small. But this was probably somewhere in the 150 to 200 dollar range new. These go, you know, 40 to 50 bucks. It's very cute, guys. This is a brand to be on the lookout for. I can't wait to see what this looks like washed up and all steamed out and put on the mannequin because it'll make a lot more sense there. If this is up on my Poshmark by the time I post this video, I don't know, I don't know if it will be, but um, I'll post a link to it down below. Love to find one of these in the bins. This is a dress from Rebecca Taylor. Super high-end brand. This is probably a two, three hundred dollar dress, maybe a little bit more. It's a cute little white dress fitted with a little flare-out skirt. Look at the seaming. Again, this is a very similar seaming to the um, the Halston dress. See how it has that like little. I don't know if you're seeing any of this. I feel like white just blows out the blows out the lens. You see that like little half moon top that goes over it. That's what creates the flare in the skirt. And also look at these details. Look at that scallop. Can you see the texture on that dress? This is just one of those dresses that like <sighs> scoops you in. It really snatches you in. Looks like they cut the size tag out, but I'm gonna guess that that's a size small. This is a great find. I'll probably get somewhere around 50 bucks for this. Rebecca Taylor is very high end. Love to find her pieces. And like the quality, you know, the quality is there, which, you know, 
Not always the case when you're dealing with a high-end brand. Next up, now this is one that I grabbed because I thought it felt really nice and the branding looked pretty high-end. I didn't know what it was, I didn't comp it in store. Probably wouldn't have grabbed it if I did comp it in store, but this is from the brand called Lightning Bolt. Um, and I just, look at, look at that branding. Isn't that cool? Very simple, very clean. Again, the fabric is really nice. I don't, I don't know what I would classify this as. Let me see if I can get you up close so you can see the texture. So the outside looks like a little t-shirt, but look at the inside. It's not quite a French terry. Um, it's not fleece. It's just got like a little bit more of a, like a rough texture on the inside. So I'm not sure. It's a surf brand based out of Hawaii. Um, you know, I'll probably get 20 bucks for this, but you know, if nothing else, we learned something new about a new brand and I'm always here for that. Next up, this was another one I grabbed because it felt nice and I didn't have time to comp it. And this is from a brand called The Native One. I thought this was a cute little, this is a romper, which I didn't know until just now. <laughs> it is fully lined. It's this cute, like it almost feels like a hemp fabric, but I don't think it is. Um, not quite sure. I'm assuming this is like a little boutique brand, um, but very cute in great condition. This little like kind of taupey color. It's like almost like rough, rough hewn little Heather style. Uh, size large probably 15 to 20 bucks on this. Again, I think this is a boutique brand. Uh, this was another one that I'd like just snapped a picture of the tag and like looked it up after the fact. Um, didn't really find anything about it, which generally tells me that it's a boutique brand that somebody buys in bulk and sells in person at a boutique. So cute little piece. You know, you win some, you lose some, especially when you're crunched with time. I'll still make a little bit of money on it, but uh, not as much as I would like, but that is the biz. Next up, ooh, love to find it. This is a cute little rag and bone, definitely a bolo brand, cute little dress. And this is in fantastic condition. I would be surprised if this was worn more than once in its life. It's this kind of like space dye knit. It's super stretchy, so super comfy. It's a size small and it's got a little ruche on one side. So it's a bit of a asymmetrical hem. You know, Rag and Bone is so expensive. Their jeans, I think, go in the $300 range. Something like this would probably be $200 to $300. I'll probably see somewhere between like 30 and 45 in this. I'm not quite sure. I've never found one of their dresses before. I found a lot of their tops and their tops sell, well, yeah, you know, like low 30s. So uh, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for, especially if you can find either their shoes or their jeans. They're super, super, super in demand. Like rag and bone jeans are kind of like the answer to a mother superior for men. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll probably get about a hundred bucks for them if you can find like a modern cut. So keep your eye out for that label. Never one to turn down a, a recent Zara piece. And I thought this was so stinking cute. This is like a little slip dress and this cute little daisy print. Isn't this adorable? Look at this print. Look at that. So it's a little slip dress. It's got a little slit in the front. Just a simple, easy breezy little dress. It's a size medium, which I love to find in a dress like this. I feel like I never find slip dresses that aren't a size small or an extra small, but it's got like a little faux wrap bust there and in perfect condition. Oh, I didn't even see this. Okay, this is so cute. On top of the slit, can you see them? They have little fabric covered buttons. What's one way to delight me? Put a button on it. <laughs> so cute. I'll probably see, believe it or not, like 35 or $40 on this. Zara pieces have been going so fast for me and for such a great price. Just make sure you're getting those newer tags and keeping your eye on trends because that matters with Zara pieces, but if you can strike that balance, like, they're great fast flips. Next up, now this was another piece from that same uh, brand that did the blue sweatshirt with the wings, that Bell and Day. Again, I'm pretty sure that is a handwritten label. But this is like a little caftan. Cute little tie-dye caftan with like narrow sleeves. What size is this? Size small, medium little v-neck so it's got these little pockets this has very much like a login look feel to it i'm guessing that this is hand dyed just the way i look at like there's no way that this is like a machine dyed situation and i believe these are handmade like looking at the stitching yeah this does not look like it's been stitched and trimmed by a machine 
So, you know, really good quality. I have no idea what I'll be able to get for these, uh, but I think just on style alone for this one, especially for this one because it has that like log and look feel to it. And if you guys are not familiar with the term log and look, first of all, I apologize. I've used it a million times. You know, I, 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 can, I find that I can sometimes go like hard with acronyms or terms um, and I want to make sure that you know what I'm talking about, but log and look is, the literal translation is layered look from German, uh, log and being layered. And it's like, aesthetically, if you think of like your eccentric art teacher back in the day, he used to wear like a long linen tunic over like a broomstick maxi skirt with kind of funky, comfortable shoes and maybe a cool hat, like that's very much log and look. Um, it's just very earthy and kind of shapeless, like that's one of the things that they do a lot of like free size clothing. Um, but that is spelled L-A-G-E-N-L-O-O-K. I'll put the word down here at the bottom so you can go and search it. And you know, of course, if you're not familiar, if there's ever anything that I'm saying that you don't understand, please don't ever hesitate to ask. Um, I know I can talk fast and I want to make sure that like you understand what I'm saying. So just in case you don't know what Log and Look is, that's what it is. And if you don't know what it is and you are outsourcing, now you know what to look for because that stuff sells really, really well. They tend to be very high quality pieces uh, that are made to last. That's kind of the hallmark of a Log and Look wardrobe. It's supposed to be pretty timeless and trendless. Very cool piece. I, I have no idea. This was probably new, you know, 100 bucks, maybe 20, 30 bucks on that. Next up, oh yeah, I forgot I found this. This is a cute little maxi dress from the brand Toad & Co. So we're gonna find that label for you. Let me see if you can see that label. So Toad & Co is like an outdoors brand. You would find this at like an REI or something like this. You know, they make a lot of hiking stuff. They would sit kind of in the same world as like a Prana or a Viore, very much in that same vein. This is just a nice little black maxi dress and I just found this. There's a little, so there's a little ruche here in the middle. I don't know if you can really see that because black has a tendency to disappear on camera. But I just found there's a little hidden pocket. What? Ugh, that's awesome. Um, just a cute little piece. These kind of like athletic wear dresses move really, really well for me. Anything Athleta, Prana, Viore if you can find it, even Columbia, uh, they sell well because they're always in demand and again they tend to be kind of trendless. This is a size medium, great to find. This is probably a good hundred dollars new. Uh, I'll probably get somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks for that. That's such a great find. I feel like I don't find many of them at the bins, mostly because people don't take them out of their wardrobe. Next up, this was a cute little thing that I found. Um, this is Wilford Free. That is an Aritzia brand. I think this is a slightly older tag, but it's a little pencil skirt in this little space die. What size is this? It's teeny tiny, extra small. I'll probably get 15 bucks on this. Older Wilford doesn't sell super fast for me, so we'll see how this does. Although I will say pencil skirts are having another moment coming back into trend. I saw them a lot during Paris Fashion Week. So here we are, pencil skirts, and this is stretchy, like all the way down. This is not, con this is not constrictive at all. Uh, very cute. Next up, speaking of free people, little nightgowns. Let me see if I can get this held upright. So I found this, and I thought this was so cute. This is a little velvet nightgown with this pretty lace trim. Um, I think it's a size small. You can, so the, the tag was cut out, as you can kind of see there. But I recognize, just from like this little tiny bit of design there, I recognize that it was a Free People piece. And you know, sure enough, I did a quick search, you know, when I got home and I found it. This is like one of those little nighties. This is obviously, I'm finding this kind of at the wrong season. This is a very like, Christmas style dress. This is something that I, I would imagine would probably sell for somebody to wear as a dress, not as a nightgown. Um, but probably, you know, 25, 35 bucks on this. It's super cute. And I love this like burgundy velvet. Guys, we're getting there. We're like making progress. Next up here. Now this was something that I found and I felt the fabric and was pretty sure I knew what I was feeling and um, saw the zipper. 
and I didn't even need to see like the logo on the zipper I just recognized the cap of that zipper this is a cute little pair of Lululemon leggings and they aren't quite crop and they aren't quite seven eighths like a crop would end probably somewhere around right here it would probably end three or four I, and I can eyeball this like I've seen so many Lululemon crop leggings versus seven eighth leggings versus full length that I can eyeball and know the length so but this is like some kind of unusual length that's somewhere in between this is their uh, Luxtream I believe fabric I'm not quite sure what exact style they are I'll have to like go and look at the at the size dot a great find you know probably 20 or 30 bucks maybe a little bit more if this is a particular style that people are you know because this is an unusual length so unusual is usually good when it comes to this kind of stuff because it's something that you can't really find it's not something that you can go and buy another one for unless this was something that was hemmed custom for somebody because they will do if you didn't know this if you buy leggings from Lululemon and you're somebody that has shorter legs you can buy a longer pair and they will hem it for free so it fits you perfectly just pro tip like don't leave that on the table or worry about having to like find something that fits you lengthwise they will make it fit you lengthwise and they'll do it for free next up is this cute little t-shirt dress from Graham and Spencer super soft like slub cotton Graham and Spencer are the design duo behind Velvet by Graham and Spencer and for a couple years there they did their own line like under the name Graham and Spencer it was a little bit higher end than Velvet and Velvet's a pretty high-end brand to start with I've had a couple pieces and they have sold super fast for me so I don't know if they're like really in demand and people are, are on the hunt for their you know for their pieces because you know they're not made anymore or if it was the particular styles that I found both of the ones that I found they tended to have like a this kind of minimalist maybe a little bit architectural kind of style to them I've never found a t-shirt dress so you know the last thing I sold was a cocktail dress it sold in like two days at, for like $85 so we'll see I'm gonna guess probably somewhere 25 to 35 bucks but it could be more uh, I can't wait to do a little research on this because now I'm excited to see that logo and uh, definitely one for you guys to be on the lookout for I'll try to report back on this to see if we have like another super bolo brand on our hands next up this is just a great bread and butter piece this is from Talbot's I don't pick up Talbot's a lot and I know that there are a lot of people out there who really love Talbot's and pick it up anytime they see it if you know sound off in the comments below if this is something that you do really well with let us know um, but I grabbed this because this is like the perfect everyday black v-neck just cute little midi dress perfect condition it's in that like heavyweight jersey if you know what I'm talking about it's got like that nice drape to it and it's kind of like literally heavy in weight size medium perfect condition you know Talbot's is an expensive brand this was probably close to a hundred dollars I'll be interested to see I've I've had some things from Talbot's like you know the random things that I do pick up I've had certain things that have sold in a day and certain things that are still in my closet after like a year so I'll let you know how this goes probably somewhere 30 to 40 on this next up this was something I grabbed because it was new with tags and it was that same brand as that hammered satin little crop top that I found this Vero Moda they couldn't look any more different the tags like this feels like you know almost in the vein of like a Johnny was very like earthy boho and the other one feels very like in the revolve world so I can't wait to dig in a little bit on who these people are but this is brand new with tags and it has like a price tag with nothing on it but a uh, little cotton sunshiny yellow drawstring waist shirt dress this is something that'll go I'll probably list this as like a swim cover-up or a little beach dress it's a size medium very cute uh, I don't know probably maybe 20 bucks on this I'm very interested to know if you were familiar with Vera Moda let me know because this is an enigma and I found two pieces and this is the first time I'd ever seen this brand I found two pieces in one day next up now I grabbed this because it looked really nice and I thought I recognized the label and now that I'm looking at it again I do recognize the label uh, but not from where I thought I recognized it from this is Newberry custom this is a brand that you would see in Vici VICI which is an online it's an online boutique right so they have boutique brands 
they do have fantastic marketing, they move a lot of product, um, but that's exactly what this is. So this I'll probably get, I don't know, 15 bucks for. Uh, it's just a cute little navy blue paisley dress, kind of like a, like a shift silhouette with slightly peasant sleeves. Really nice, this feels brand new. I'd be surprised if this was ever worn. Uh, but again, like I'm not gonna get much for it. Vici is not the most expensive uh, brand or store. They don't necessarily have the best quality, but we'll see. This is what happens when I'm rushed at the bins. <laughs> you know, stuff like this kind of sneaks in across the line. Heck, stuff like this will sometimes sneak across the line when I'm not super busy and not time crunched at the bins, so. No excuses, take the losses, learn from the losses, celebrate the wins. That's how we do it. Next up here is that other piece from Halston Heritage. I'm assuming that these came from the same person's closet. This is so beautiful. This is like a little kind of architectural dress. So this is another like size zero. So it's very tiny and definitely something that will make a little bit more sense once it's on a body. But it's got this like very modern architectural kind of drape to it. It's very simple, kind of oversized like shift dress. Like I said, this will this will be something that makes a little bit more sense once it's on the mannequin. This is another one of the tags there. Something for sure to keep your eyes out for. Halston is just, a, it's a name, it's a household name in terms of designers. Uh, you know, he was huge in the 70s. They just made a TV movie about him. I'm pretty sure they made a TV movie about his life. Uh, but yeah, very cool find. No idea what I'll get for this but very, very cute. Exciting find, very exciting brand to find in the bins. And two in one day, it seems crazy. And this one is a nice little t-shirt from Scotch and Soda, another piece from Scotch and Soda. Again, super expensive brand. Uh, this is just like a little basic black t-shirt v-neck. I think this is men's, uh, just going by the cut. Man, the fabric on this is so nice. I'm assuming this is Pima cotton. It just says regular cotton, but um, I just learned now that Scotch and Soda is based in the Netherlands. Learn something new every day. Guys, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Like their t-shirts will go, I'm pretty sure, for like 60 bucks in store. They're very expensive, but really well made. And like just, you know, construction, you know how it is. With like a plain black tee, it's all about how it's made. It's all about the fabrics. Cool find. I'll probably get, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks for this for a plain black tee. And finally, who was this? Oh, that's right. This is another great find. This is a little jumpsuit from Beyond Yoga. Love finding it. So it's like a little cropped wide leg jumpsuit. Super comfy, cozy. What size is this? Size extra small in fantastic condition. It's got pockets. Beyond Yoga is one of those brands that people are very, very loyal to. They're mostly known for their like butter soft leggings and butter soft joggers. Think like a Viore jogger, but with a little bit more body to it and a little bit more compression when it comes to like the leggings. Um, but their stuff, I mean, this is so soft. This is something that'll probably go 40 to 50 bucks and it'll probably go pretty quick, even if it's an extra small. Like I just, I just sold a pair of uh, like maternity joggers and they sold for I think 58 bucks in under a week. Very cool find. Love finding things from Beyond Yoga. and th Like I love finding this like athleisure type stuff. Make sure you're tagging athleisure in all your listings, but really, really cool find. But that is it guys, that is the haul. I don't think I did too terribly bad considering the fact that I was like super time crunched while I was there. I mean, sure, were there a couple pieces that I probably would have put back if I had a little bit more time? Absolutely, that's fine. If nothing else, we learned about some new brands and I'm always down for that. But for all you numbers nerds out there, I've got 46 pieces, um, at least that's what my spreadsheet is telling me, with an estimated retail of somewhere between 6,500 and 7, thousand dollars. Those Halston Heritage pieces certainly helped that total. But I'm anticipating somewhere between $1,200 and $1,300 in sales on these, which would bring my profit to somewhere around $1,000. When you take into consideration that I spent $46 on this, that brings me to an ROI of 22x. It's not the best I've ever had, uh, but it's certainly nothing to sniff at. I'll take that all day, any day. I'm so interested to see, like there's a lot of new brands in here that I've never picked up before, so I'll try to report back as much as possible. You know, all in all, a great day.
But thank you guys so much for hanging with me while I do these hauls. I have so much fun. I mean, this was kind of a weird one because we were kind of discovering this haul together. I completely forgot what I had in these bags, but I appreciate you all so much. It just warms me to my core to know that there are other people out there that love the same weird stuff that I do. Uh, if you had fun, don't forget to hit like and of course subscribe down below. If you want to be notified when I post something new, hit the little notification bell. But without further ado, guys, have the most incredible week. Happy hunting, and I will see you in the next one.